Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Jax. I'm a nutritionist and I'm in anorexia recovery so I use YouTube to pretty much keep me accountable, to document my recovery, to bring you along my journey with me. I'm trying to at the moment heal my body the same way I would heal my clients to actually follow the advice I would give. I was recently diagnosed with osteoporosis and I also have hypothalamic amenorrhea which means I've not had my period in the last six years, hence the brittle bones. So what I'm doing now is I'm on the journey to just heal my bones, get my period back, break out of this quasi-recovery state. So many of us are in that half mindset still measuring portions out or not eating the same food twice in a day. The video that I did today, so many of you out there are also struggling from not being able to get your period back from hypothalamic amenorrhea. I will make a completely different video on the cortisol, the impact of that on the body, why you really aren't getting your period. This video is pretty much a sucker punch to your body. Like It's like, look, we're gonna get better, you're gonna cooperate with me, and this is how we best feel ourselves. It can be scary, but if you guys are in the same boat, do this with me. I know it's scary, but when we do it together, it makes it a little bit easier and you don't feel so alone. I live in Dubai and we don't get a lot of support here for eating disorders. It's not, it's still pretty much taboo over here. So that's why I wanted this online platform where I could help others in places where you guys don't have access to help or just so you have a friend alone because this can be the most lonely journey on the planet and no one deserves to be alone in their recovery, which is why I want to be there for you and yours. So anyway, stay until the end of the video. I have a really big special surprise, which I'm super excited about for one of my subscribers. Well, for me, it's a big special surprise. So definitely stay until the end of the video. And guys, any questions you have, leave them in the comment section below. I love answering with you. I love sharing your journeys and you'll see why at the end of the video. But anyway, I hope you enjoy and without further ado, Lego to breakfast. When I think about the way we used to be, when I think about the things it took from me, I know that I am so much better, better. When I look at what I've done, now that we're apart, when I look at what I've won, I've come so far, I know I'm so much better. Righty folks, so you know how that whole thing, oh, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. I was always like, someone's being over dramatic, but no, my friends, actually, it is the most important meal of the day. And always, especially with hypothermic amenorrhea, you want to eat at least one hour after waking up. So one hour to an hour and a half, like minimum, but there's no intermittent fasting going on for this biscuit and for anyone else in recovery. And if you're like, oh, but it works so well for my friends, science shows this, science shows that, you can't compare your body to anyone else's. And the rules that apply to other people don't apply to you within recovery. Honestly, when someone's like, don't eat this twice a day, don't eat too much of this, I'm like, look, <laughs> look, my friends. And sometimes it can be triggering when people around you are intermittent fasting, but that's when you just need to say, literally, grow some testicles, like genuinely grow some hair in your chest and just be like, I gotta do what works for me right now. And the only way to heal yourself, I promise you, if you do try and fast till later on in the day, it's just gonna build up the cortisol and there is no ways you're gonna be able to get that period. It's just not gonna happen just because of the cortisol and the old hypothalamus. Like something that the hypothalamus is the size of an almond, but that little bugger can really screw up your body when it's in a bad mood and hypothalamic amenorrhea, you gotta know. The H boy is in a mat, like it is in a really bad mood. We're talking like Bruce Banner, if he saw Widow with Iron Man. That's the reaction your hypothalamus is having. If you don't watch comic book movies, I'm so sorry for you, but anyone else, you get what I'm saying. 
So the things that were really good in that breakfast was the eggs, they had the high fat, the high protein, the vitamin B, the oleic acid, everything your body needs, wants, loves, adores, and then of course bread, carbs. Your body needs the carbs, especially in hypothermic amenorrhea recovery. PCOS is the complete different thing. So if you have PCOS, then the rules don't apply to you. But if you have HA, which I'm guessing you do if you've been restricting, over-exercising, I'm sorry, you're in the same boat as this biscuit. And then the next thing that you saw me have with it was a smoothie. So I was like, okay, so I need some vitamin C to absorb everything that I'm putting in my body right now. You saw that I had the coconut oils in that. I had my maca collagen powder from the Raw Reserve that I have freaking loved. It has made my skin glow. It feels, everything feels thicker and shinier. For the first time ever, my nails aren't breaking. It feels amazing. So there were a lot of fats in that smoothie, which can be scary to a lot of people but just take a deep breath. I'm gonna give you homework at the end of this, BT Dubs, <laughs> because I'm one of those teachers. As we're recovering together, so we do homework together. And so that was everything about my breakfast. High fat, high protein, the vitamin C to absorb it all. Once again, there was nothing that my body was missing out. So when I fed it in the morning, it wasn't like, oh, but you didn't give me this, so I'm gonna produce some cortisol. I'm like, look, you're gonna cooperate with me, okay? Right now, let's be friends. Okay, so this ricotta and peanut butter sandwich is like my favorite thing. I had no bread left and you know what, the ED part of your brain says, no, 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 I don't have the exact things to make it, so I'm just not gonna make it at all or maybe I'll make it tomorrow. Nothing would be scarier than making on a bagel, but this is the this is part of reducing the cortisol, not being stressed if it isn't exactly what was written down in the recipe or exactly what it's supposed to be. This is, is high in fats, Taste, remember that soul food macro, that is what this has got. So this has got the carbs you need, the fats you need, the healthy vitamin E inside the peanut butter. Guys, I'm just, enough said, remember, many meals that are gonna keep you full for longer. Some people might usually have this as a full lunch, but no, snack. That was so good, oh my god. So if you struggle a lot with dry skin, like a lot of, a lot of people do in hypothermic amenorrhea, or in EDs, everything you have, you start to have skin rashes, skin problems, a lot of dryness, that is from a lack of fat, omega-3 and vitamin E, which are all like completely abundant in things like peanut butter, pumpkin seed butter. Pumpkin seed butter would probably be the best if you're having skin issues, but guys, that was so good. Like peanut butter for me is everything good about this world. Reese's peanut butter cups, I'm like, you god. A Reese's peanut butter cup is like happiness on a plate. It's like, yeah. It's a marriage between a peanut and a cocoa bean and they were like, I wed the, as that happened, the peanut, That that's true. That's a fact. That's how the Reese's peanut butter was born. It was a man named Riri and a woman named Cece. The kid was named Reese. Pretty sure that's on Wikipedia somewhere. If it's not, it will be in five minutes time. I have to keep putting on my jumper inside because it's so hot outside now and then it gets cold and then I gotta get outside and then I gotta freeze my turkeys off and then I gotta go inside. I'm like, guys, bigger side. Come to Dubai, you boil outside and then you freeze your turkeys off inside and just like, can't, can't function like this. Yes, you can. So lunch, I have, I actually meal prep this one a lot for lunch. I 
freaking love it. When was the last time you had a quiche? Quiche can be so freaking scary. It can be so scary. It's a beautiful hurdle to overcome. It's an amazing way to meal prep throughout the week. You take it with you to work. You can have it with whatever you want on the side. I had a burrito on the side of mine as well because I was like, I just got to defeat this body. And again, listening to my hunger cues, I was like, I need a carb with this because I need the carbs. And the salmon is so high in anti-inflammatory omega-3. So what I'm trying to do is with everything I eat, I am reducing the inflammation around my brain, around my body, so that hormones can move more freely. Ergo, period starts. With easy to meal prep, easy to take with you on the go. See, looking out for your busy peeps. <laughs> Okay, so like a big part of being in that recovery mindset is when you are really scared to eat the same food twice in a row because you're like, oh, I've had it already, I shouldn't have it again. I was like, I wanted a snack now after lunch and I was just like, you know what, I actually want another burrito because I freaking love those burrito wraps. And it's something I would have even never let myself do before, but I had a chicken mayonnaise burrito wrap, rocked my world, changed my life, seriously, it's like a chicken mayonnaise sandwich made love to a burrito. What more could you want? It's like, it was, so chicken mayonnaise was my favorite childhood snack, and again, usually it's something people would have as a main meal, but as you guys know now, I like to have more mini meals. You've got all the protein or the immune, so you got all the protein or the amino acids in the chicken, I had the mayonnaise in there, so I had my calcium, I had my fats, once again, I had my carbs in the wrap. When you have HA, you never want to stress your body out and make it be in deficit during the day, like you wait until you're starving until you eat no keep the levels satiated like never wait until you're starving or remember it's so difficult to trust your hunger cues just yet like when you feel that extreme hunger or sometimes you just don't want to eat for now it's more about biology it's more about constantly supplying your body with that level of glucose with the high levels of fat healthy foods this is still tough for me guys having the same food twice in a day, it's still tough, but I'm pushing out of that quasi state. Like, I don't want to be in that half recovery where, yeah, I'll push myself to eat a wrap for lunch, but then I won't have it again later on as a snack. Again, it's part of bracing these recovery cycles. So, I'm actually quite full after that because I have been picking on crackers the entire freaking day. I'm obsessed with these, like, sea salt crackers, and obviously, I'm a terrible vlogger. It's my brother's birthday tomorrow, so we're just running around trying to sort out stuff, and I can't film everything. But I'm trying to give you guys as much as I can in this video. But, so yeah, we're gonna go pick up some last minute stuff, and then I'm gonna show you his cake, and it's gonna rock your world. On a side note, I'm gonna be doing a completely different video on set point hunger cues, accepting your set point, my set point issues, because a lot of you have reached out to me that you're terrified about your body changing, you're terrified about not trusting your body to change certain things. Never feel bad about admitting that because it's just, it makes you human. It's a human part of recovery. It's absolutely cripplingly terrifying and it's what keeps people in that quasi state because you don't trust your body to finally one day adapt to a normal way of eating. But I'm gonna be making a video essentially, like I said, I'm here to support you guys. What I wanted to start my channel for was for those moments that you just don't know how to break through those barriers and we're doing this together. I want to challenge you. So your homework for today is going to be change everything fat free in your diet. I'm not asking you to add burgers or donuts. What if you have a fat free yogurt, change it to full fat. If you only cook with water, change it to a little bit of oil that you're adding. Just make one change this week. I don't care how small or how big it is, one change. If you usually cook steamed butternut or steamed zucchini, have a sweet potato with it. Make one little change. Add a banana into your fruit salad or your smoothie. Add an extra banana. Like I said, it's not about making 70 changes at once, it's about making one small change. So if I had a homework challenge for you guys, it would be switching all of the fat-free items in your house to full fats, cheeses, creams, yogurts, 
and if it's overwhelming and you only use a tiny bit, a tiny bit today is more than you did yesterday. So we're gonna do this together. Anyway, I'm gonna check in with you when I start making dinner. Okay, so what I just had there, I think I would have put it on the screen anyway. It was a coconut broth that I made. So it was a cream coconut and turkey. Cream coconut, turkey, and ginger mixture. But the reason why I used turkey was turkey is really high in something called L-tryptophan. Now, if you notice, like when you eat a Thanksgiving turkey, you're really sleepy after. Now, it's an amino acid in turkey called tryptophan. Now, when you have hypothalamic amenorrhea, you want to reduce your cortisol, so sleeping is one of the most important components of recovery. I speak a lot with my hands. Um, it's the most important part of recovery, so this is something, it's so good to have at night because it helps you sleep. So I've got all the fats in the coconut cream that went in there, the turkey with the proteins, the amino acids, the L-tryptophan, word of the day. Bring that out at brunch and it'll be like the coolest human being in the room, says Jax. And, um, and then I added in the potatoes with it. I added in the butternut, again, having those healthy carbs as a vessel. And then that extra quinoa, again, we can't have too many amino acids, I think. The body does a lot of healing at night when you're sleeping. So when you give it something that it's actually gonna be able to use in the reparation process and lower cortisol at a time, that is pretty much like finding a waterproof mascara that doesn't smudge and that doesn't literally have you punching yourself in the face to remove. Or it doesn't make you look like pink eye because you've had to rub it so hard to get it off. So yeah, that's what that is. Waterproof mascara. It doesn't make you look like you have pink eye. Okay, so I've had dinner. I'm ready for bed. I have been so scared to do this specific thing for the last 15 years. I've not done it yet. I tried to work up to doing it over the whole of Easter, but I kept losing just courage and I kept begging my mom to please push me, please push me and she never ended up doing it but oh no I promised you I would have a slice of carrot cake to celebrate you getting your period back so that's exactly what I'm doing. I went out to buy my biggest beer food that is a carrot cake with cream cheese frosting and like I said I wanted to, I felt like I owed it to you. I'm so proud of you for overcoming your struggles. Every single one of you that has spent, sent me the most inspirational messages and each one of you that are too scared to overcome a food or you took one bite of a donut. I am so proud of you and this is for you. This is my biggest fear food to date, especially at a scary time of day at night after dinner. But this is for you guys. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Oh shit, that's good. Thank you, Mona. That was for you, Mona, because you inspired me, you encouraged me. I'm so proud of you. I wanted to celebrate for you. And you know what, I wanna celebrate for every single one of you out there. I wanna share your fears with you, share your challenges with you. But yes, I hope you did enjoy this video. I hope you found it helpful. Let me know your wins, let me know your losers during the week, anytime you've struggled and we work through it together. But I hope this video was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, follow me along, share your journeys with me, and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.